After stumbling out of the gates in week one, the Lloyd Comp Barons, well, they of course responded with a huge win last week over the Wainwright Commandos. Moses, join me on the desk and you have more on the um, high school football team. You know what? It's it's a great time. It's it's a great time to get into it. Fall's almost here. Football's going. And of course, uh, we have a great story for you. Of course, the big win, like you just mentioned, Nairman, against Wainwright. But you know what? Matt Schumann has a great story on us because it's going to be tough. It doesn't get any easier for the Barons as they prepare to take on one of the most dominant teams in the Wheatland Football League. After falling just short in their season opener against the St. Paul Lions, the Barons rebounded with a 28-10 victory over the Wainwright Commandos. And although there are five weeks remaining till the playoffs, the Barons say last week felt like a must-win game. We know we needed it. It wasn't a must-win, but it sure felt like it. Um, you know, we could have, there's a lot of things we can take from that game, but we know we got to play better for next week. Now heading into week three, the coaching staff says they've seen huge strides since day one of training camp. We're just getting better at what we're doing. Our systems are becoming more crisp. The guys are getting better at the basics. And that's what we wanted, and we get another good test this week, and hopefully we sharpen up a little bit more, yeah. This week will once again be a challenge as the Barons take to the road for the first time this year to face the Cold Lake Royals. And through two weeks, the Royals have proved they have an offense that is worthy of winning a championship. We need a good week to practice and we need everyone to step up for Cold Lake because they're a good team. And, you know, everyone's just got to step up. It's as simple as that. If we can play their tendencies and hopefully limit that, that's all we're going to do. Uh, their running back's great, their quarterback's real sharp, and we got to slow them down as much as possible because you can't stop good football players. Kickoff for Friday's game is at 4 o'clock. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports. Thanks a lot, Matt. We'll move from the gridiron to the soccer pitch. The Lakeland Rustlers men's program are returning home after taking one out of a possible six points last weekend. Now the grin and gold shift their focus for a pair of games this weekend, searching for their first win in a young campaign. It wasn't the direction the wrestlers wanted to start the season, opening with a 2-1 loss in Lethbridge, followed by a tough equalizer on a penalty that led Medicine Hat draw 1-1 with the wrestlers. Well, Lethbridge is a quality squad. Uh, they're, they're three times the squad they were last year. So 2-1 uh, was somewhat of a fair result. Medicine Hat uh, was disappointing. It seemed like we were uh, against um, 11 players and maybe a few officials. Controversy aside, the men are making no excuses, looking to eliminate individual mistakes that put them behind the eight ball. Our first touch um, has to be faster and it has to be received as, as we're moving with the ball. So tactically and technically, we just have to be more efficient. We kind of just were all over the place. We need to have more structure to our play and just become more of a team. We have to look forward, uh, put the things behind and go forward towards success. And that starts this Saturday against Olds College, a team the wrestlers dominated last year, followed by the Seats Trojans, a stiffer test on Sunday. But the wrestlers won't look to their past and overlook the Mustangs this time. We need to come away with that with some points, uh, and, and three points. After that, then we can set and, and, and be ready for Seat. It's the past of the past. We'll play for the future and go game by game. Both men's games will kick off this weekend at the VLA soccer fields. The first game on Saturday is at 4 o'clock, and the game Sunday against Sate is at 2. All right, news from the FedEx Cup playoffs. Of course, the BMW Championships got underway with Weyburn's Graham Dillette. He shot a 170, seven shots back of leader Brent Snedeker. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods sits in a tie for third at 5-under. That's your first look at sports. Gerard is up next with weather. All right, let's move on to our superstar. The Lakeland Wrestlers men's soccer team opened up their season last week. Now, this is a squad that's considered one of the best the program has ever had, which includes standout Lewis Isle. Matt Schumont has more on the third year on this week's Superstar Next Door. Growing up in the small town of Doncaster, England, Lewis Isle has always had the game of soccer in his blood. My dad was a big soccer fan. All my family have been soccer fans all my life. So just growing up in England basically brought me into soccer. Last year, Lewis decided to play futsal for the first time ever, and after having a heck of a year, the wrestlers named him their Rookie of the Year. That was my first time playing futsal. It was a little bit different, hard to get used to, but I don't know, it's kind of you have to work through that and change how you play. I guess put in the work, it works for you. 
idolizing David Beckham for his leadership on and off the pitch. Lewis tries to bring that with him to help out the younger guys on the team. There's a lot of new players here that kind of a bit younger that don't have the experience that some of his older players do third and fourth years. So just bringing the like, experience and knowing when to slow the tempo, speed it up and stuff. If young players make bad decisions, he can try to make sure that they don't, um, th you know, with, with the way he conducts himself or the answers he gives. He also has helped traditionally and is continuing to help as a coach within our community as well, working with, uh, with our driller soccer program, um, you know, with kids that are 10, 12, 14 years old. Now after taking a bronze medal in last year's ACAC championship, Lewis says he would like nothing more than to rebound and take it all this year. If we put in the work, I think we definitely have the skill to do it, but it's going to be a tough league. Kind of two disappointing results last weekend. We need to rebound this weekend, take each game at a time, and kind of just push forward after each game. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports.